Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. If you're a new subscriber, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you can stay up to date when new videos go up. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome, thank you for the support, I uh, much appreciate. And we're getting back into this game here. So, if I recall, we should be going... We should be going to the edge of uh, the gal of the solar system here, and we're gonna meet our new friends. Hopefully, slowly, this guy. We're gonna go to his home planet here. Maybe. All right, here we go. Looks like our new hyperdrive came with a navigational system, Captain. Let's open up the map now by pressing tab and use the search feature to find our way to Alpha Repeculae. Okay. Let's see here. Um, where? Autopilot. Let's go! What is that? What am I being hailed by here? What is this? You have arrived. Whoa. We have waited for you for a long time. We have been watching. We have never met before, but you know us. We are Ooh. known as the Arilu Lalile. You look very familiar. <laughs> yes, they do look familiar. Um. Why does it seem like everyone is watching us? Why were you watching us? <laughs> yeah. Of course we do. We have chosen this appearance because it is exactly what you expect an alien to look like. We always intended we would be the first to contact you. Events, however, have overtaken our intentions. Okay, um... Yes, the Taiwan were also watching us, apparently. The Taiwan <laughs> are amateurs at watching you. Oh, we creepy. have a very particular interest in you. That's Discussing creepy. Discussing it now would complicate this conversation. You may know that we have watched you for several thousand years, and that is all that you may know. We did not expect you to find us for some time yet. Events have accelerated. Your Lexites saw it. They took a different path. A darker path. But they are not our concern. Our bond is only with you. Okay. Um, let's see here. Why do I get the feeling you were talking down to us? Let's talk about your appearance. With the Lexites. Because we are. You don't like that. Of nope. course you don't. The memory of this sensation has not been lost to us. Yes. We are speaking down to you. We have both <laughs> taken different paths to this point in the manifold. We have simply seen more. Okay. Um. Our technology is so far advanced from yours, we could take any form we choose. We could be angels, or demons, or little green men. We <laughs> could be you. Whoa, that's, uh. Wow. <laughs> Oh, we know what the Lexites. The Lexites are not our concern. We don't know where they have gone, but here you are. Sooner than expected, yet almost too late. Okay, um... Almost the too late. The most pressing threat you probably perceive is the Scribe. They are a real threat. The threats come in varying degrees. More are coming. 
The spur is aflame. The eight are no more, and the precursors have abandoned us. Okay. Nothing you just said made any sense, that's for sure. I am completely lost here. In time, it will. But when that time comes, heed these words. Your path is not guarded by rails. Following familiar beats will lead to peril. If you sense your journey has been taken many times before, then beware. The obvious, unthinking path will give you no reward. I hate when they talk in riddles. I don't know what he's talking about. Um, let's see. The object near here is a space station left behind by a race of aliens who have long departed from this facet. Their true name is not known to any of your peers. Precursors is a common handle in this facet and others. Their artifacts, like this space station, will not work for your peers, but they will work for you, because we have activated them for you. We are not peers of the Precursors. They are beyond even us, as they have often shown. But we have seen enough to know some of their tricks. Use these stations. They will be a great asset to you. Their caretakers are unique, but this is typical of Precursor technology. It is time for us to go. Okay. Uh, will you help us? Very few of my kind remain in true space. Advise we can, but defend we cannot. If you need advice on where to go next, Proxima Centauri is famously not far. The moon of Caps there contains many valuable resources these star bases can make use of. Beyond that, do not worry. This will not be the last time we talk. You will be fine. Explore. Talk. Fight. Be human. Oh, yeah. Be human. Gotcha. Alright, close communication. Let's check out the star base here. What are you? Check the proper motion of calibration stars. This facility has been offline for 205,442 years. Why have I come online now? Checking. Exception. Reboot calls not found. Okay. <clears throat> see. So friends turn you on first. This seems unlikely. Sapient life forms known to exist in this region of space are several orders of magnitude too primitive to operate this facility. Who are you? Checking. Human. 99.8% chance you are descendants of three sapiens on the Green Belt world. Insignificant. This is quite a mystery. What are you? This is an automated port research and recreational facility created by exception, name not found. I am an avatar of that facility. I have been projected into this facet of the multiverse to facilitate its use. This facility and others like it can process raw minerals into generalized resource units and then process those into fuel, equipment, or entire vessels. It can also tell my stories. Check signs indicate large portions of my eternal memory have been corrupted. Consequently, this facility only has limited information on the following topics. Exception, name not found, local stars, and fun facts. Fun facts? Uh, what was name not found, folks? Uh, local stars, fun facts. Exception, name not found, lead to these stars, or exception, duration <laughs> not found, years. They did things which I have no record of. The volume of missing records suggests they did 
many of those things, however. This facility is one of those things, designed to assist with the conduct of many of those things. It seems though that this facility has laid dormant for 205,432 years. Its activation now indicates exception, things it indicates not found. That's it. That's all I know. There are other facilities that might be able to offer more. This region occupies a minor arm of the galaxy and has a typical composition of star types and ages. Notable exceptions include the unusually low density of interstellar medium in this area, likely the red supershell supernovae that occurred 18 million years ago. This region has been continually filled with sapient life since recordings began 218,209 years ago, albeit at a slightly lower density than found in other parts of the galaxy. Okay, uh, some fun facts. The 200th digit of E is 2. What? That 200th billion digit of E is 2. That wasn't that far. This facility is over 200,000 years old. Standards may have changed. Calibrations are still continuing. <laughs> That's enough about you. Is there anything else? New ship component. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Anything new here? System scanner. We don't have enough units, anyways. So I go back. facility has peas scattered throughout the spur. They are statistically likely to have experienced different corruption in their memory banks and may have access to different design templates for constructing ship components. Also of note, from any facility you'll be able to access the Hypergate's material movement process and instantly travel to another facility you have already visited. That is it. Exception, civil farewell not found. Close communication. Uh, so what do we need to we need to go? No, that's our space. Autopilot. Let's get over there. I am enjoying this game, though. I don't know. I love the art style and everything. We just. Here we are. Look at all these people going about their day. Don't hit me. Taiwan, yeah. How much value of this planet we can explore if we want? Sure. Let's explore it quick. See if there's anything here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't think there's anything here. Wait, what was that over here? Oh, it's a plant over there. All right, let's just get out of here. I don't think there's anything here. Oh, that's where I wanted to go. Great seeping pool! They actually came! We came! Welcome, humans! We greet you with many open arms! Thank you! Chief Viscosity Officer Windu has already told us so much about his new friends! We come in peace, you get allies and assistance. You look a bit like him, actually. Did he say friends? We're not friends. <laughs> Could I come? I don't want to be mean. You wish to be our friends? Well, we don't have very many out here, so yes. I said Al has not friends. Gladly, yes. With some hesitance, yes. <laughs> but of course we'll ally with you. 
This is the greatest day in Taiwan history. Yeah, let's uh it's one of our good days too. <laughs> you agreed to that very quickly. We've grown soggy thinking about this day for a long time, humans. We knew you would be our best friends from the first time we saw you. You're a little creepy, actually. Uh, because you've been spying on us for decades now. Creepily, yes. Yeah, creepily. We will immediately send emissaries to your homeworld to share technology, coordinate with your leaders, and practice handshakes. So, what would you like to do now, best friend? <laughs> Does anyone on your ship want a massage? We're good, I think, in the massage era. Uh... What should we do about this scribe? That's going to be tricky. You've already blown up one of their ships. Yep. They hate that. Don't care. <laughs> Excuse me. What? Uh, can we hide from them? Can we apologize? Can we join the Empire? Can we fight them? Look, we know you have a lot of gumption and spirit and nuclear weapons so many nuclear weapons <laughs> what is wrong with you anyways <laughs> i don't know <laughs> we just really like them as all well. we feel awful about that really uh -huh. <laughs> well even with those you have primitive spaceships and you don't understand hyperspace and you only know like Half the digits of pi. So no, you cannot fight the scribe. Alone, at least. With your help, uh, tell the scribe you helped blow up their ships. You'll need to help us then. That was you. <laughs> Don't <block> me. <laughs> that is not a distinction they will make at all. They're going to kill the heck out of us! Having friends is dangerous. <laughs> Maybe being um, unpopular was some kind of evolutionary defense for our people. Maybe. <laughs> Give me one pop up forever, guys. Uh, they can't be invincible. That was help. Huh. Wow. You are definitely the first person who's ever told us that. <laughs> but maybe you're right. Maybe there are other aliens you have something in common with. We've seen lots of battle-damaged scribe ships in the last few years. Which suggests someone out there is already fighting them. Though Ooh. we have no idea who would do such a thing. Shooting the scribe sounds like the kind of cool activity people tend to not include us in. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm sure the other aliens are just shy around you. Well, what other aliens are around here? There are lots of aliens around here, but most of them aren't that consequential. The scribe mostly just leave them be. Until they become consequential, that is. And then... POW! It's weird that the scribe have taken such an interest in you, in fact. Because you are extremely inconsequential. I guess you just have that kind of look to you. The look which makes evil alien empires want to wipe you out. Anyways, <laughs> if you're looking for aliens who might be able to actually help you, You'll be better off talking to the scribe's ward species. Not all of which actually like the scribe that much. There's the Muke. They have lots of tentacles, so you'd think they'd be good at hugging. They don't seem into it. Their homeworld is in the Beta Pavok system. Then there's the Mengmak. They're pretty friendly. A bunch of their ships are in the Speaker constellation. 
We've seen them in lots of other places, too. Oh, and then there's the Drenkens. They're some kind of living weapon. They really like the Scribe and really like killing things for the Scribe. So stay away from them. So we uh, don't hang around them too much. You can find them in the Alpha Uxor system if you like being killed. Also, there's the Scribe. They're everywhere. Although that's probably not that helpful. So, not really. What are you going to do? I mean, what are we going to do? Yes, we. Uh, we're going to form an intergalactic alliance to stop the scribe. We're going to find out which aliens are shooting the scribe and offer to help. I'm going to need to check with Earth first. No. Glop. You are so cool. Let us know if there's anything we can do to help. You can have as many hugs as you need. Also, perhaps more relevantly, please feel free to commandeer any Taiwan vessels that you require. I can assure you, the Taiwan on board will be more than happy to come with you. More than happy. I'm sure they will be. It'll be weird. <laughs> Jesus, guys. Uh, we had some questions in our alliance. How about yourselves? Anything for our best friends. What do you want to know? Uh, tell us about your species. Uh, yeah, We're just species. nice, honest monopods trying to make our way in this galaxy. Our civilization is founded on the principles of lubrication, building ramps instead of stairs, and friendship. Okay. I'll think of your friends. It's our home world. Oh, it's lovely and lonely. There are only Taiwan here now. All the other animals got tired of us and left. <laughs> we think they taught themselves how to work a spaceship. It all piled into one and left the planet. The good news is, the plants stayed. <laughs> They're not going anywhere. <laughs> we can tell they want to, though. Wow, these guys are so weird. Okay, it's like this. We suck. We know <laughs> that. It's fine. Everyone tells us all the time. Uh, no, no, you... Yeah, you suck a bit. <laughs> That's very nice of you to say. Though I suspect your opinion will change with time. And that's where the spying comes in. Someone who hasn't met us yet? Don't know how much we suck. <laughs> so we regularly keep an eye out for young alien species on the verge of developing hyperspace travel. And we wait. And we watch. <laughs> that's why you can speak our language. Oh, that's nothing. Your human language is easy to learn. It's like a baby's language. Every hey. alien out there will be able to understand what you're saying. Uh, let's see here. Okay, it's oh. like we suck. We know I'll that think it was a different it's one. fine. <laughs> Everyone that's the noise and that's someone who so we regularly keep an eye and we watch. I thought it was something different. Oh, that's not your cue. It's like a baby. Every alien out there will be able to understand what you're saying. Uh, that's friends. because deep down, Taiwan are to an individual incredibly unpopular. It wasn't always the case. We believe the ancient Taiwan who first crawled out of the swamp were much more fun to be around. 
They were all handsome and athletic and had the firmest of handshakes. But a horrible plague swept across the planet, killing everyone it made contact with. Only those isolated from other Taiwan survived. Ah, uh, that's terrible. Losers, you mean? It is, but we're over it now. The lucky souls who survived rebuilt the Taiwan civilization passed on all the traits which made them so isolated in the first place. Like what, best friend ever? Uh, let's see... I think that's enough questions. Is there anything else, best friend? There's... We should probably get back to Earth. Hurry back. Yeah, let's probably get back to Earth we and then tell them. Anytime. Okay, anytime, not now. <laughs> so, let's see. Yeah, let's head back to Earth and explain to them everything. Slowly. Woo! There we go. I want to have a lot of uh, planets here. Let's uh, go back home. Out of pilot. Actually, no one even owns these planets. Alpha, ooh, Alpha Centauri. It'll come here quick. Centauri! How many human stories involve coming to this place? Well, now you're here. And, you know, there are worse systems, I guess. <laughs> are there any habitable, habitable planets here? Looks pretty rocky to me. Ooh, can we move here? Pretty small planet. Ooh, it's a creature. Weird looking creature. <clears throat> Excuse me, so there's something over here. What's this? Carbon dioxide. What? I don't want to try something here. Uh, <laughs> we'll head back. I just wanted to see Alpha Centauri. And there is a planet there. The stories are true. Is there one over here too? Lots of planets. Let's head back to Earth now. We should probably get back and explain to them what's going on. And boom. Almost there, right there. For the long process of getting back to Earth. See the Taiwan is uh, showing up. So 
you know what they're all doing. Just hanging out, I suppose. Alright, getting almost there. Get into stock control. Hail. Welcome back, Captain. You should know that a delegation of Taiwan have just arrived. Promising to share information, provide technology, and assist with our shipbuilding. They're also very interested in just hanging out. Alright. Uh, surprisingly easy. Let's not be ungrateful, Captain. We have few friends here. Which brings me to my next point. Star Control has new orders for you, Captain. The Taiwan, plus their sticky hearts, know less about this galaxy than we hoped. So, in order to fulfill our goals of not getting annihilated by homicidal aliens, we're going to need some more information. Okay. According to the Taiwan, there are a number of other alien civilizations within our immediate vicinity. We want you to contact these aliens and find out if they'll be willing to help us as the Taiwan have. It sounds like these scribe already have enemies. If you can find out who those aliens are, I'd suggest they'd be a good place to start. All right, can do. You're an eager one, Captain. I like that. If that's too easy for you, there's always more you can do. I just wanted to start you off with the easy task of preventing humanity's complete annihilation first. But if you want more, you could always secure mineral wealth for us. Or find out what happened to the Lexites. Or find love amongst the stars. <laughs> find love amongst the stars? Oh, you want me to give kisses to aliens? That was a joke, Captain. <laughs> Remember, you're now humanity's public face. Our only representative out there. It's imperative that whenever you meet an alien, you make a good impression. That probably won't involve kissing. Hope not. You haven't seen how I kiss? <laughs> nope. No, I haven't. <laughs> uh, I think I can handle Good, that. Captain. You have been authorized to take the ship wherever you best see fit to complete this mission. Feel free to return here as necessary to repair, resupply, and debrief us on what you learned. Yours is the only human vessel which can enter hyperspace at the moment, so this all rests on your shoulders. Though we're working on ways to fix that, we'll let you know how that goes. Now then, how can I help you? Uh, get going then. Good luck, Captain. Thank you. All right. We are uh, out of time. <laughs> it's already been a half an hour playing this. So, I think that's all we do. We just do a mission every episode. Yeah, excuse me. Every episode, I'll do a mission. And, so if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. You know, leave a comment what you liked about it, what you hate about it. I'm open to criticism and whatever. And, if I get like, I don't know, 10 views on this. I think that'd be good. 10 views, and I'll continue the story of Star Control Organs. Till next time, have a good one.